I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist at the Neurology and Sleep Center, Delhi. In this video, I'm going to be discussing a case with a presentation of poor sleep, which is what we are seeing a lot these days. And we'll also discuss what is my approach to this patient. So this was a 32 years old girl who is uh, working from home these days, complained of poor sleep for the last about three to four weeks, uh, started with some stress, there were some personal reasons and some work-related stress, uh, goes to bed at 12. The onset is very good, that means falls asleep within 15 to 20 minutes, but then it breaks at 3 or 3.30 a.m. and then is not able to fall asleep again for about an hour or hour and a half. During that time, there is a lot of increased thoughts, uh, worry about the future, the career, the relationships, etc. And finally, is out of, wakes up at about 6.30, but out of bed by 9.30. Then does a regular set of exercises and is busy during the day. Post lunch, tries to see if she can get a nap or a rest for at least an hour or so and has an evening cup of coffee at about 6 p.m. Has tried uh, numerous things like self-meditation, uh, listening to some apps, but they're not helping. So what would our approach be? Yes, she has insomnia and she did complain of daytime symptoms of being tired and drowsy. So to understand uh, how to tackle a patient who has this predominant complaint of poor sleep, we need to pick up those things which they may be doing wrong or which are not conducive to a good night and start interventions. So first thing is uh, this increased stress and increased worry. We need to advise them or suggest that you have a fixed time in the day if they can write down all their thoughts, like keeping a journal or calling it a worry time, so that when these thoughts come at night, they are not so disturbing. The second thing is uh, this, the evening coffee should totally be avoided. It's a stimulant. We do know half-life of coffee can be almost six to seven hours and it will interfere with the night sleep. Uh, She's most of the day, because of this work from home, they're mostly sitting the whole day. So we introduced that you must do some exercise, physical activity, get some daylight, which will help to consolidate the sleep. Uh, the other thing is that there should be at least a 30 minute off the screen time, watching television and just putting off the TV, uh, light and TV is not going to induce, be good for sleep. So these are the things that uh, were advised. And of course, if in the middle of the night, the sleep breaks, it is hard, but one should try and get out of bed, go into another room or sit out of the bed and either listen to some music or read something or just sit up rather than just lying in bed and continuously waiting for sleep. So these measures are suggested. And however, if there is a lot of anxiety. People start complaining of palpitations, uh, severe disturbed and is feeling very restless, uneasy. We do add a small, maybe a benzodiazepine to get rid of the anxiety, but under a controlled time duration and a dose. And these people should, I have asked them to review at least after one week and filling a sleep diary. So thus, this patient, I wanted to illustrate two things. One is the middle of the night insomnia. Second, what are the features that the person is doing wrong and how we can intervene to improve them. So we will discuss a few more cases of insomnia and what ideally should be our approach. Thank you.